Hi, uh, John here. We're just recording. Recording. Uh, today is uh, Monday, the 18th of April 2016. I'm just catching up from our uh, meeting up in Waitangi, Malawi, uh, in the Bay of Islands, and uh, it was a, a success uh, in that we uh, uh, achieved. Uh, the objective of um, opening up the uh, King's Bench Court inside the um, Waitangi Marae itself as the authority to this day of King William IV uh, on the Great Hall. Uh, we didn't uh, raise the flag this time, but we will um, uh, do that the next time around. Uh, the idea was to get inside the Marae and to have our opening uh, of business uh, on that land uh, belonging to the Ngāti Kaua. And we connect up the history uh, to the Pohutukawa tree uh, down in Tingairi, uh, Matari Bay, uh, with the chiefs who assembled there and put this flag together. So it's very important that we have the Whakaputanga flag here, the 1834, 10th of March, 1834, when they formed this uh, alliance with the British uh, military and King William IV, His Majesty, uh, title, uh, and mortgage lien to the land as a um, uh, settlement of the British uh, immigrants at that time. Uh, and then on to the Waitangi Marae after that from Kororareka uh, at Russell. That's the British settlement village of the Navy, British Navy. And uh, uh, across to the um, Waitangi um, Marae area of land of Natakawa from Ngāti Rahiri, uh, Kororareka. And so those two hapu uh, are joined um, together. Uh, with this flag on Waitangi Marae land, title. So the titles were pre-sold from Britain in Westminster. So I'm um, doing this as separate from John Key's government's titles and New South Wales government um, in Wellington, New Zealand. Now, the point of the exercise here was legal uh, jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law inside this flag. And the trading accord uh, we have with the United Nations and Westminster Parliament government uh, with trade and um, uh, Bank of England, uh, Acts of Westminster Parliament under King William the Fourth, 1832-1837 Acts uh, applies. Uh, still today. We are using those acts inside that marae now. And the marae itself is the highest court in the land and the highest court in the world, native. That the native court, the only native court with 1993 Te Ture Whenua um, Native Land Acts uh, that allows um, the other native countries of Canada, Australia, America and Britain and New Zealand to use the 1993 Native Land Act for their titles, mortgages, liens. And so I'm saying, um, speaking for the King, William, as his subject, subject, captain of the ship, that's standing on the ground, off the sea and on the land, the British ship with this flag supposed to be flying at the top all of the time. So we are going to um, write uh, to the government here and the government uh, in uh, Britain to tell them what happened and why the Navy didn't turn up and perform their duties of care uh, for our interests in our land and financial interests for that matter. The King's Bench Court is being forgotten and the Queen's Bench Court is in a bit of trouble now with this um, Panama Papers tax havens here in this country. 
Just a warning to all you people who have come here from other countries to hide your wealth. It's still the same Queen that you went under, and the same Pope, and the same Church of England state laws, and the Catholic Church state laws, jurisdiction of King William the Fourth, Admiralty, that got you on those lands in the first place here in New Zealand, Australia, Canada, America, and Britain. <coughs> so, I'm speaking for King Ernest Augustus, the King of Britain, UK. He's still the King in the bloodlines. There's no other King, not even William. Prince William is no bloodline in this clan of jurisdiction, of admiralty, that he hasn't got any admiralty under the Queen. His grandmother has no title. And the Salic law forbids women succeeding to their flag in Denver, De Devon, Port England, land soil. To here, Devon, Port here in New Zealand, Auckland. Plymouth, New Plymouth. Here, to Plymouth, England, the Sheriff of the County under this flag is our jurisdiction and constitution, 1835 constitution and 1868, 1852 constitution. UK is our authority of King William Seal sitting on his horse and his ship of admiralty authenticates our documents, the ones you see on Facebook now, I put them on today, this afternoon, and you can see it's in picture form, and that's our authority in that morale, you can see a small group, just enough to authenticate the documents and that morale, the highest court in the land here, above the high court and it goes with the common law court as well, but this is a native court. The native court and its laws of Tikana shall prevail, does prevail with King William the Fourth laws of 1830 to 1837 acts of Westminster Parliament. Okay, so I just wanted to bring to your attention that we are investigating all titles on the lands in this country, New Zealand, the Pacific Islands, under this morale. <clears throat> King Itoto, the chief of Ngāti Rahiri and Ngāti Kaua, is our authority. I make this public notice. I've been with him for 20 years on that marae and Tiki marae in this Waitangi marae for many years with Mohi Manikau and Ngāti Tarawa and Dawi Homi and Vihari Kake and Haru Utatonga. The Utatongas, the Williams family, I'm here for them. I'm representing them on that Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae land. TB3 block and the Titi blocks and the Waitangi blocks. I'm doing audit on them as the creditor and the sheriff of the county of those areas and the areas of Auckland and East Cape. We have the 77 Cook Street property. We're going to confiscate now from this High Court here in that Marae, the Native Land Court, under our own authority and our own flag and our own Maui statue flag, two of the most powerful flags in the world and memorials, King William IV and a Maui statue standing in London, New York, Washington DC, France and New Zealand and Singapore and in uh, Chile, and so in Brussels, and so we uh, are, are very um, curious of anyone that stands in our road will get the bill, because Pope Francis has destroyed all four corporations and trusts, including the Maori Trust. We are still using those EUCC laws, the laws of the Vatican, is illegal. And so it will be gone by the 16th of July this year, 2016. And I just warn you that we have taken action to personally rival and find you under this court and this jurisdiction of Admiralty 
court martial law. It is a court martial law, federal, state and the Commonwealth of the World Government here, New World Order, that I'm going under in this Marae. Okay? It's the same for us stepping into the district courts and the high courts with the same authority, same flag, same seal, and the seal of Maui statue, God's law, L-O-R-E, the truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. It's my word against yours. You're right, or we're right, in God's eyes, and the Queen is wrong. Your Queen has abandoned ship and gone to EU Parliament, where she'll stay out of the way and left the void inside Westminster and inside the courts and the Treasury in Britain. We're going there, Jamie and I, to sort that all out, because it's defaulting back to King Ernest Augustus. He's the uh, descendant of King William IV and William the Conqueror and um, King Solomon, straight through, the 14 AD, straight through to Ernest Augustus. Okay, so we're putting him in as King of England and King of Britain, King of Scotland, Ireland, and King of Wales, King of the Commonwealth, 53 countries in the world, and King of Maui, Pacific Islands, and King of the 250 countries in the world. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. We have our titles to this land that we can now challenge any. The police have to stand aside because they have less of jurisdiction, no seal. Sean Rice, uh, Chief Justice, opened the court, nominated the, the Governor General, John Key, put the Governor General with no seal and no statement of confidence from the Queen and a letter to state that she approved us of their government. She was warned and the government here was warned. John Key ignored the police. The police were going to take up that case that the police charged John Key on the 22nd of December 2009. He had a charge on him from the police for opening up the Supreme Court with Prince William. That's illegal. And we're using that as a threat against our national security and our investment interests in this land, Altair, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands. Okay, so we're bill vetting everyone, including TPPA, 12 countries, who have stepped in our road and have assumed that they own this place with their contract is illegal from this morale. Okay, so we have opened up the court there on the 15th at 5 a.m. in the morning, 15th of April 2016, made this announce announcement as the surrogate, King William IV, authority with Chief Kingi Tauru of the Ngāti Kawa, Marae, Wanda Marae, and Ngāti Rahiri title holders, and the Uti Tonga, Puetaha, East Cape, Marae, with our carvings in it. That's my own family's carvings to Mount Ikarangi, at the East Cape, uh, Ue Pohatu, Hiruharama Marae, and Puetaha, Marangaro Marae, the Tipito East Coast, and the land of Mokonui, Turapanui, East Island. Okay, so those are our solid memorial titles with King William's memorial title to these lands. And that Marae is my Marae. Kingi's land. Kingi Taro and his chief's land. Now I'm saying this. For all the people who are in the Confederation, you know your job. For the Maori government, Sue Nicole and Georgie, uh, Joel and Alfred Mitchell and uh, Nelson, Peter, I proved them for what they do because I've been with them for many years. And my 
dedication is to Chief Kingi Toru. I'm with him. He's the only last man standing on his feet, the oldest, to hold that marae. He gives me authority, I give it back to him. He says to me, he wants his land back. He wants his land back, John Key. And I'm there as the land commissioner, native, to get his land back. We are taking the Watsungi blocks and the Titi blocks back into his custody because of the fraud. And you're going to have to open your books up to us in that court the next time we go back there. And Paul Tiffany, the police turned up. He's got an account of what I'm talking about. And with Pohepa uh, Ipia, who brought him in to see the proceedings of what's going on. But because I've been with the old people, Mohi Manikau and all those other ones, for years, I have a better handle on all the land in this country. Because I'm made for that job and been put there by Mohi Manikau and the Uchitonga family because of the titles with the Rogans, with the Manukau's, and the Rogans with the Buanos on East Cape, and the Manukau's on the Bay of Islands titles, and in the Kaipa titles, the Waikato titles, and the Auckland titles, under John Rogan and the Manukau's, Mori, Jamati Manukau IV. Okay, I've got all the memorial history in the wood carvings that he's told me and showed me, and I've got them sitting there for as evidence. So everything I've got has got titles, and that's what my family is, the Rogans and the Cosgrove lawyers uh, put these titles together and helped to put the titles together in Gisborne, in the Maryland Court. And so <clears throat> there's no argument about land and the certificate of titles between the New South Wales government and the British. I'm here for the British titles of deeds and founding documents of doctrines of discovery of this country and the Pacific Islands and the doctrines of discovery of the world at East Island and the Maui statue that's standing in London is my title. To my Tahitian people, the Tainui, the uh, Rafui and the Ngati Pro, they're the same brothers under the Tahitian title that I'm talking about, Mopiti Island and Raiate Island and East Island Rawanui. Okay, there's our brothers and our families, our hapus here that I'm talking about in that marae. Okay, all the authority in the Pacific Islands comes from that marae. I'm saying this to all the Pacific Island people, and especially the Rarotongan people in my family, and in uh, Rapanui and Raiatea, that this is your marae. This is my family's East Coast marae on Uetaha land at Tepito to Tepito on East Island, from Tepito at East Coast, first rising sun in the world, Ra. Okay, all that history, back to England and to um, uh, Africa. Uh, history is intact. So that's all I want to say. You'll see these four documents on uh, Facebook and the photo of us, uh, our group there, uh, um, celebrating the 10th of March, 1834 on this Whakaputanga flag and with the Whakamininga and the four corners of the earth flag, jurisdiction and constitution wrapped up in one our authority over John Key and his titles. We are confiscating all the lands that we say we're going to confiscate one at a time. And if you get a knock on your door, it simply means the sheriffs are there to check your titles and your land titles, my word against yours. Your title is now suspect because of the fraud and corruption of the Queen and her associates, agents, Church and State, Vatican and Church of England, uh, Brussels banks, foreclosed with a pound note now. that we will see the pound note that we have, uh, Jamie and I, uh, on the pound note. Those are levy debtor instruments against fraudsters. So you'll see that going up against John Key and those landowners and all those 40 people on 77 Cook Street, including the place. You're liable. 
you're liable because the Pope said so. He's the most powerful person in the world with all the money. We're going after everything we own back into our custody because you have been fraudulent on our land and it's up to you to prove otherwise. We're accusing you, people. We're accusing police of misjudging us and underestimating our authority inside MRI. And to all those people who have been sceptical of me, don't be surprised if you have a marshal barking down your doorway because you asked for it. You deserve what you got because you have humiliated us on our own land. And now it's up to you to prove where you got your title from. Ignorance and silence is not going to work in front of this court here. And our chiefs in there, there are, there's not many of them left. Uh, Nuki Ulrich, he's another one that's one of the old stalwarts in this confederation. I just can uh, not see any more of them left. There's only Kingy that's uh, been uh, supportive of me and uh, Hohepa, I've just only met him because he's been in Australia and come back. So to all those people in Australia, you're still inside this marae. Now that we are in there, it is our marae on our land that's been offensive to us. So uh, people, one more time, those documents you'll see are sealed. You'll see us in the, in the marae, on the Watangi marae, and you'll see the eight-point star of the St. Patrick's Church of Ireland. That's Jamie Anna Marie Stewart Patrick. That's her family and mine is the Rogans, judges of these land titles and the Manukau's Rogans are with us in these titles and the Ututonga, the Williams family um, um, constructing the first land titles from Britain. Right? So <coughs> uh, uh, anything else uh, I will put uh, there. I'm going to pursue with my barrister, 77 Cook Street. I already said I was going to confiscate it and I am going to confiscate it legally with this title and the backup of the chiefs. I have uh, Epiha, uh, Hohepa Epiha and his 39 hapus, the biggest tribe in this country of Ngāpui, supporting the claim they want their land back. And it echoes right through the country. They also want their land back. So I'm here for all the Hapus in this country and the Pacific Islands. There are two. They are the same. And we shall pursue every claim there is this court. Not the tribunal, not the treaty settlements, because that's the Maori land court, the Maori titles. These are Maui titles. These are their original owners these lands, not the Maori iwi. Okay, so they'll have to face us in this marae. We're doing it digitally, online. This court in this Waiapu uh, uh, is in this, the carvings, all those carvings in this marae comes from my land and my people carved them. All right, from Ngāti Pro, they call it Ngāti Pro. I call it Uetaha, the original uh, chief and Ue Pohatu, the real chief of the Hikurangi Mountain and Hiruharama Marae. All the land blocks at the East Cape are Marangairoa land blocks and Marangairoa Marae to Rapanui and Raiate Island, all my family. Okay, so that's what I want to say about um, how and why that Marae was built, especially for this occasion. And we are the first time going in there to seize everything back into our custody to pay for their bill. You have to pay for your bill, John Key, for all the mistakes you made, for all the ignorance you've done against us, and underestimated our title as where did you come from and how did you get here and where are you going to after we put you through this court. Your name, John Key, is in the High Court of Admiralty in London with Judge David Lindsay Mackey, okay, and my lawyer here, QC, Yu Tai Choi, signed it. He signed the documents. 
the legal documents that will pursue through this court. Through this court. We don't have to go anywhere else. We put it online through this court and through this Marae. It is our Marae wood in there. And we're seizing the whole land back into Kingi Tauru's custody, hapu. Okay? It's not iwi, it's hapu that is offended by you people. And we're going to audit and investigate you ourselves. And the British military is obligated to this flag of King William. They're obligated because they are our partner. They are our commercial trading bank of England partner. Right? And the Westminster Parliament is our partner. They are our legal partners to recover everything that's missing. The 1.5 million tons of gold and all the land, the minerals and all the properties, the birth certificates, every single thing in the King's Bench Court derived wealth of the King's Royal Revenue made from the King's King of the Sea shipping is our business. That is our business. Okay? I have all to say in the world from my native people because none of them would bother to think how it works. And your biggest secret in the world is busted. The code is split open. You're now exposed singly to bill debt you one trillion pounds each. That's just a start. And your crown and your corporation get the rest. So it's no use hiding in any country because we'll pay them with the pound note to go and get it with the British. They are obligated to go and get it. Ten years, we'll pay them for ten years to employ under the Moai King William Party and our trust. Okay, so that's all I want to say from this court in Waitangi. And we'll be setting up a court, new courthouse on Cornwall Park in Auckland. I've already did that with Mohi Manukau and the titles on One Tree Hill. The Kafuru, the giant memorial, is here. The plaque is here until we can draw out who took the plaque off that hill and left it with the stone memorial there and no plaque. Okay, so somebody's liable and when we find someone liable, the whole lot of you are liable. Even the companies, even all those corporate companies that have gone bankrupt, you're still going to get the bill personally, all the way back from whoever's got that title. We'll check where they came from, where they came from, all the way back to 1830. Okay? Right back to 18. We're backdating everything to 1830, King William IV. Right till now and further until the bill is satisfied for one nine hundred and seventy million trillion trillion pound nuts. There's one big green one and then all the rest comes out of that. Okay, just to let you know, we know what we're talking about and we know what we're doing. The British are our partners to make sure to recover it, retrieve it, salvage it, foreclose on it and confiscate. But the Sheriff's orders the King's Bench orders in court I shall make from Waitangi Marae and every other Marae in this country that's got the Maui name on it. Not the Maori name, not the Iwi name, but the Maui Hapu King William Trust. Okay? Thank you very much. That's all I want to say today. Uh, and we will catch you again. And to my uh, crew and Jamie. Uh, we'd like to thank all those people that turned up uh, to the uh, hui uh, on the 13th uh, at the um, uh, Titi Marae. On the 14th we had the, the hui there and at um, the Bahia War Memorial uh, Hall. Uh, uh, we um, had our hui there and thank you for the people who put a, a, a koha in to help us with the expense there um, and also the um, uh, koha for the uh, titi marae 
and thank you to the people in the uh, Titi Marae uh, Committee uh, for uh, letting us have the, the Marae and um, for the um, Waitangi uh, National Trust um, and uh, McManus, Greg McManus and also Murray, uh, Murray uh, and um, the um, 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 Wairiti uh, Pawara. Uh, thank you very much for letting me uh, have all the facilities and also to Kingi Taurua to um, 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 consent to this hui uh, for the Whakaputanga flag and the Whakamininga and uh, putting all the history together. I haven't finished yet. I'm going to put the flag up. That's the next one with you, Kingi. Uh, and um, uh, finish the job off. Uh, so there's in default now the Crown and the Navy and the police are in default. And I can show you and tell you how that works. On the next hui will be the letter, the uh, article from Tonga uh, on the 22nd of, uh, of uh, December uh, 2009 when John Key is uh, supposed to be arrested for opening the uh, Supreme Court without a seal of the court, a seal of, without a seal of the police and without a seal of the um, uh, parliament uh, to um, um, carry on with a, a jurisdiction of nothing. And their pedal uh, jurisdiction in that um, a Supreme Court with Sean Elias, uh, Chief Justice, is illegal. It should not have governed. And so we're going to bring the military in to govern this country until such time as we can replace the whole lot of them. We don't want them anymore. And we'll put in a interim uh, government. Uh, it has to come up and measure up to, to scratch with Moai and King William uh, party in England with uh, Matt Taylor. Uh, there and Sue Young and um, also um, um, uh, Jackie and uh, Andy um, Little uh, uh, Little Gordon and my friends there in Scotland uh, so they've been helpful as well and uh, as well as uh, Gene O'Dean in, uh, in Portland, Maine and um, um, USA. Uh, I thank you to her, she's working with me now uh, from that end and uh, we shall um, uh, bring them together with uh, Jamie, uh, Anna Marie, uh, Patrick Stewart and uh, Desmond uh, uh, Wanoa um, uh, helping me here on this end and also Kingi Toto, the Chief um, and um, a couple of others um, that I can't think of at the moment that's um, going to be helping us. So that's our um, group at this, at this uh, stage. There are others, uh, Kevin Reyes in uh, Tauranga, uh, the engineer for the hydrogen um, uh, power projects, uh, Tarlenji here in New Zealand and uh, also um, in Kawi and um, Kawi um, uh, design engineers in Denmark um, um, to contract to do the uh, design work on the Tarlenji project in Scotland Island and also in the East Cape of North Island New Zealand here and the Manukau Heads. Uh, so just to give you a bit of an idea of our projects are quite big and the um, uh, Cook Street, 77 Cook Street uh, projects, it's about 3 billion for that project. The East Cape project, that's about 3, 3 billion as well. And the Tidal Energy project, 3 to 5 billion. That's just to give you an idea that our figures are quite large uh, with the authority like this. Uh, in this Marae, we'll be going uh, a long way ahead uh, with the hapu, but the people are, 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 are sceptical uh, that they didn't come because they didn't think I was going to get in the gate or into the marae for that matter on the other side of the top marae. Uh, we managed to achieve that only with the help of uh, uh, Hohepa Epiha and, and Kingi Taurua. Uh, thank you to them uh, for their efforts uh, to make that possible. It wasn't uh, going to be possible without them and also the marae themselves, the authority uh, and the uh, trusts trust inside there that will have to change to fit this history uh, and put it back in the rightful place with the hapu and everything will come right. I'm only there as neutral and uh, expressing my own authority from the East Cape uh, on my own land block through Ataha as uh, the rangatira there with um, um, Tomati Reed and uh, the rest of my crew at Rangitukia uh, waiting patiently for this project to start. All right, so we're starting straight away and we'll get things going and, and have confidence in us uh, and now that you trust us um, 
the Marai and the police, uh, for that matter. It wasn't so bad after all, uh, but we are serious in what we say and do and make statements in the public and around the world online on, on YouTube and, and Twitter and Google and Facebook. They are true, everything I, I write is the truth and nothing but the truth, so I'll be gone. That's why I'm still going uh, with good people that um, trust us and carry on. So that's all for now. We'll catch you later and have a good evening. Time now is about 8.38 p.m. in the evening of Monday uh, on the 18th of April 2016, bidding you a farewell for the night. See you again. Bye.